Hey everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. Today we're taking a look at some new video cards from Gigabyte. We have the GeForce GTX 750 as well as the GeForce GTX 750 Ti. These cards feature GPUs based on NVIDIA's newest Maxwell architecture, which is built using a 28 nanometer manufacturing process. NVIDIA has emphasized power savings and efficiency with Maxwell so far. The 750 and 750Ti are capable of operating within the 75 watt power envelope provided through the PCI Express bus. Although some manufacturers, such as Gigabyte, may opt for adding an additional PCI Express graphics power connection for overclocking headroom. The 750 and 750Ti support NVIDIA's newest technologies, including Shadowplay, which is always on game recording with low system overhead, enabled through NVIDIA's GeForce Experience software. It's very helpful for live streaming with Twitch and YouTube, for example. NVIDIA Shield compatibility allows you to stream your desktop PC games to your Shield handheld device, so you can play anywhere in your home. You also get continued support for NVIDIA technologies like GPU Boost 2.0, TXAA, FXAA, Physics, Adaptive VSync, NVIDIA CUDA technology, and NVIDIA Surround and 3D Vision. Here's a look at the GTX 750 specs from Gigabyte. You have 512 CUDA cores, a base clock of 1059 MHz, and a boost clock of 1137 MHz. You get one gigabyte of GDDR5 memory on a 128-bit bus. That gives you a memory speed of 5.0 gigabits per second. You do have one six-pin power connector from the Gigabyte card here, a TDP of 55 watts, and then two dual-link DVI outs, as well as two HDMI outs on that PCI Express Gen 3 bus interface. The Gigabyte Windforce GTX 750 Ti gives you 640 CUDA cores, a base clock of 1033 MHz, a boost clock of 1111 MHz, you get 2 gigs of GDDR5 memory on a 128-bit bus, 5.4 gigabits per second memory speed, one 6-pin power connector required for this card, although it does maintain a TDP of 60 watts, and then for outputs you get two dual-link DVIs, two HDMIs, and then finally that bus interface of PCI Express Gen 3. Now for a close-up look at the GTX 750, first off included in the box you get a quick start guide as well as a driver disc. You should go to the NVIDIA website to download the latest drivers because it will get better performance and compatibility with those. Oh, you also get a Molex to 6-pin PCI Express uh, graphics power adapter um, since this card does have a 6-pin. Um, but Gigabyte is recommending a 400 water grader power supply for running this card as well as of course the rest of your system. The card itself features a 100 millimeter downward firing fan right there at the center. It's pushing down across that aluminum fin array that you can see there beneath it. Uh, apart from that, you have a black plastic shroud here, which does extend a bit beyond the card's PCB. If you're measuring from the bracket here, it's a little bit shy of seven, seven inches long, um, which should fit in most cases that are out there, but uh, bear that in mind since size is a consideration when you're installing a graphics card. At the back you can see the PCB is a blue color, uh, you have some Phillips head screws holding the uh, cooling solution on, and then of course the PCI Express Gen 3 connection right there up at the top. Over here on this side you have a 6 pin PCI Express graphics power connector, again that was Gigabyte's uh, choice to include that, and that is most likely to assist with overclocking since um, that is something that this card is capable of. And lastly, here at the back, we have your video outs. So first off, a couple dual, I'm sorry, a couple HDMI ports, and uh, you can see on the box here behind us that is for connecting 4K monitor at 60 hertz, which is uh, pretty impressive. I should say hertz, not megahertz. Uh, also, you get two dual link DVI connection points right there. Bear in mind that the top one here is digital only. Um, if you are using a DVI to VGA adapter, you'll want to use that bottom one right there. And here's a closer look at the 750 Ti, again for box contents, pretty much the same as the 750, quick start guide, driver disc, as well as that Molex to 6-pin power adapter. This card does feature the Windforce branded cooler from Gigabyte, so you might have seen some of the Windforce cooling cards uh, with some of the previous series, uh, 600 series for example. Um, this one measures about 7.5 inches in length, measured from the bracket to the end of the cooling shroud, so again, bear that in mind for uh, size and how it will fit into your computer case. This one, since it's wind force, features two downward firing 80 millimeter fans. Again, a larger aluminum fin array there at the bottom. And then they've used pretty thick, uh, for a card of this uh, size, eight millimeter copper heat pipe. So you get one on each side protruding uh, out and going back into the fin array to help uh, wick the heat away from the GPU and help keep everything nice and cool. Uh, apart from that, around on this side, once again, they've provided a six pin PCI Express graphics connector. So again, make sure that your uh, power supply has 400 watts of power or more, according to Gigabyte for powering this card. And then of course, if you don't have the six pin ready, you can use that Molex to six pin adapter that they've included in the box. 
Of course, uh, just like the 750 PCI Express Gen 3 connectivity there at the bottom, they have, of course, provided the little protective covers to keep everything nice and, well, protected, I suppose. And then again here at the back, uh, dual HDMI outs, and again, you can use those for 4K 60 hertz uh, refresh rate with compatible monitor, of course. And then uh, two, again, dual link DVI connections, uh, one that is digital and one that is digital and analog. And that's all for this video, guys. Once again, we've been taking a look at the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 750 Ti as well as the GeForce GTX 750, both available now on Newegg.com, and you can click the link in the description down below if you want to head over there, check out pricing and availability. But thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you'd like to see more, check out our Newegg TV YouTube channel as well as our YouTube channel network. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. We'll see you all next time.